okay so now understand a working of mobile IP so uh, before that uh, I should explain you the basic terminal terminologies and entities that exist in the uh, mobile IP so you see there is the CN and CN stands for a correspondent node which is nothing but a kind of a sender which is there in the working of mobile IP okay so this is a sender here and there is a router associated with the sender so this router is associated with corresponding node there is one internet and then there is a home network or the or a subnet which is uh, which is used by the receiver okay so this is the home network uh, where a mobile node uh, uh, resides okay and the receiver side router so this is the router of that mobile node which should be which should exist in the home network so this router is this router is associated to this home network and then we have a foreign agent and a foreign network so foreign network is a different location uh, apart from the home network so this is a foreign network uh, and the associated router to the foreign network we call this routers as a foreign agent and home agent which is very similar to that of HLR database and a VLR database understand that home location register is a permanent database so this network is a permanent let me let me give you where is a uh, so this network this home network is the permanent permanent network for the mobile node and this foreign network is a temporary network for a mobile node so you i hope you understand it there is one more thing uh, is the coa which is care of address okay and i'll tell you about care of address um, when we understand the working of mobile ip i hope you understand uh, you know the simple entities and the terminologies um, which is there in the working of mobile ip now let's understand how exactly the mobile ip is you know working now the first thing is uh, let me use a different color to make you understand let me have a red color so now what will happen is the case is or the scenario is something like this corresponding node wants to send a packet to the mobile node and and uh, uh, this corresponding node assumes that the mobile node is still there in the home network okay as I told you that the, there is a one requirement in the mobile IP and that requirement is transparency which says that a mobile IP should uh, make make mobility invisible so any of these entity uh, any of these entities doesn't know uh, anything about the current location of uh, any other person or any other user so this corresponding node doesn't know the current location of mobile node and the case is something like that the mobile node is not in the home network but it is in the foreign network you can you can see here mobile node is right now in the foreign network so the scenario is I have a corresponding node wants to send a packet to the mobile node but the mobile node is not in the home network it is there in the foreign network okay so this is the case so what will happen is Corresponding node first send the packet to the to the associated router. So this is going to be my first uh, step. So it, it, it gives you to the Router as router also doesn't know anything about the current location of mobile node. It will directly forward this packet to the internet This is my second step now internet is having different uh, routers and uh, all routers are connected with the help of some routing mechanism okay so the internet doesn't know anything again doesn't know anything about the mobile node so it will directly you know send this packet to the router home agent and understand that the packet is it looks something like this so this is the packet that corresponding node had sent it with the help of source IP address uh, as a corresponding node IP address and the destination is going to be the mobile node IP address okay so this is the packet that uh, that this corresponding node had sent it so right now the packet is in the router HA or the router home agent now home agent will check in the home network and will find out that the mobile node is not now in the current subnet or in the in its subnet okay it is somewhere else so what will what will this HA is going to do is it will find something called as COA which is known as care of address and the work 
or, or the or the work or the functionality of care of address is to give the current location of the mobile node so it will give you the current location of mobile node so your your uh, care of address will give you the current location of my node so your home agent will understand that the mobile mobile node uh, mobile node is not now in the home network but it is it, it is in the foreign network and he will understand it with the help of care of address so now what will happen this home agent which is having this packet here it will encapsulate the packet with with an inner layer and an outer layer so inner layer is associated with source as the correspondent node ip address and the destination as a mobile node ip address but now instead he is having an encapsulated packet where the source ip address is going to be the home agent it means the the ip address of this home agent and the destination ip address is going to be the coa of mn that means where this mn is is actually you know located so the encapsulated packet looks something like this okay so the source address is the router ha and the destination is coa of mn it which means this so it encapsulated packet will move from router ha to via the internet to the router foreign agent now as foreign agent gets this source uh, get this encapsulated packet it will it will delete this or it will remove this outer layer uh, from this from this encapsulated packet it will uh, it will remove this and he will find the original packet and it will find that the source is the cor corresponding node and the destination is mobile node it will find it will find it out in the foreign network that the mobile node of this ip address is there in my network or node okay so foreign agent will find in the foreign network that the mobile node is there in my network and it will forward this packet so 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 this is going to be the fourth okay and foreign agent to the network is going to be five and it will forward that packet to the mobile node which is destined to so this is going to be six so in this way the packet you know receives it to the mobile node now the case is now what if mobile node wants to send something to the correspond node uh, as the response then it is nothing but it, it just directly as it is you know as it knows that the uh, packet is coming from the correspondent node um, from the different types of requests so it will just directly forward that response or the acknowledgement it directly pass it to the pass it to the foreign agent as 7 and it passes to the internet and to the router so this is going to be 8 and again it it receives it to the corresponding node so it directly send it to the corresponding node as it knows the current ip address and the current location of corresponding node it will it can directly send it to the corresponding node. It, it don't need to send it to the home network and then from the home network to the corresponding node okay so in this way you know the working of mobile ip works i hope you understand it if you don't understand it you can you know directly comment in my comment section i will be happy to help you um, if you want if you don't understand it just stop it uh, you know stop it the video and then uh, forward it or maybe um, play it back again you will get to understand it it's simple to understand it okay uh, thank you so much for listening to me if you have any problem you can directly contact in the comment section and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel i insist you to please subscribe it thank you so much for listening to me